Okay, so the expression that's on the left-hand side of the equal sign, that is a difference of two squares. So I'm going to use a difference of two squares factoring formula. x to the fourth minus 81. x to the fourth, that's a perfect square. It's the perfect square of x squared. 81, that's the perfect square of 9. According to the formula, one's a sum, one's a difference. This first factor, x squared plus 9, that can't be factored any further, but this factor, x squared minus 9, that is also a difference of two squares, and we're going to use a factoring formula to, to factor that even further. Okay, so we have x squared plus 9, and x squared minus 9 gets factored into x plus 3 x minus 3. Okay, so we're finished factoring. We're going to set each of these factors equal to 0 and solve. Okay, so this first uh, equation I'm going to use the square root property. I'm going to first uh, subtract 9 from both sides, giving me x squared is equal to a negative 9. Then I'll use the square root property, take the square root of both sides, and that leaves me with x is plus or minus the square root of a negative 9. So x is plus or minus 3i. This second equation if I just subtract 3 from both sides, I'll have my answer. x is negative 3. And this equation, add 3 to both sides, x is positive 3. So my solution to this equation, there's four answers here. There's negative 3i, positive 3i, negative 3, and positive 3. And that's it.